1971D Kennedy half dollar sells for a huge profit. In the world of numismatics, certain coins hold a significance that goes beyond their face value or the precious metal they contain. The 1971D Kennedy half dollar is one such coin, embodying a rich tapestry of American history and the enduring legacy of President John F. Kennedy. For collectors, this coin is not merely currency. It is a cherished artifact that captures a moment in time. The Kennedy Half Dollar series began as a tribute to the late president, who was assassinated in 1963. The rapid production and release of the coin in 1964 marked an unprecedented effort by the United States Mint to honor a fallen leader. As years passed, the mintage varied, and by 1971, the composition of the coin had changed from silver to a copper nickel clad, making the 1971D issue particularly noteworthy as part of the new era of Kennedy half dollars. The D mint mark on these coins indicates that they were struck at the Denver Mint, one of several mints in the United States responsible for producing currency. While millions of these coins were produced, finding one in uncirculated condition or with unique die marks can be quite a challenge, adding to the excitement and pursuit among collectors. For those looking to acquire a 1971D Kennedy half dollar, the journey can be as rewarding as the destination. Whether scouring online auctions, attending estate sales, or networking with other enthusiasts at coin shows, each avenue offers its own adventure. Collectors often share stories of the lengths they've gone to secure a sought-after piece, and the camaraderie found within the community is a significant part of the hobby's charm. When considering the sale of a 1971 D. Kennedy half dollar, understanding the market is crucial. Factors such as condition, rarity and demand play pivotal roles in determining value. Coins graded by reputable services like PCGS or NGC often fetch higher prices due to the assurance of their condition. Sellers should also consider the timing of their sale, as market fluctuations can affect the desirability and price of collectible coins. For those on the buying end, patience and research are key. Learning about grading standards, mint marks and historical context can greatly enhance the collecting experience. It's also important to establish relationships with trustworthy dealers who can provide valuable insights and access to quality coins. As with any collectible, the condition of the 1971 D. Kennedy half dollar is paramount. Coins in mint state, especially those with full luster and no signs of wear, are the most coveted. However, even circulated coins have their place in collections, serving as reminders of the coin's journey through hands and pockets over the decades. Collecting coins like the 1971 D. Kennedy half dollar is more than a hobby. It's a way to connect with history and preserve a piece of it for future generations. Each coin tells a story, from its design and production to its circulation and eventual resting place in a collector's display. By caring for these coins, collectors ensure that the legacy of President Kennedy, as well as the artistry and craftsmanship of the U.S., Mint continues to be appreciated and studied. So in other words, the 1971 D. Kennedy half dollar stands as a testament to the resilience of memory and the power of preservation. Whether you are a seasoned numismatist or a newcomer to the field, the pursuit of this coin can lead to a deeper appreciation for the intricate dance between history and commerce. As you build your collection, remember that each coin is more than metal. It's a snapshot of an era, a work of art, and a vessel for the stories we choose to keep alive. The Mint changed the composition of Kennedy half dollars this year. Instead of having some silver, they switched over to a clad composition. The 1971 Denver minted Kennedy half dollar is really common with hundreds of millions of specimens produced. More than likely, most of them still survive and are probably sitting in banks, vaults, or even in jars in people's homes, being kept as conversation pieces. Most, however, do not command a premium. Only in Mint State 67 do they begin to command somewhat of a premium, 
as there are probably less than 1,000 specimens known. In mint state 68, they are very hard and extremely difficult to come by, and more than likely there are less than a dozen known, with none existing in high condition. 1971D, 50 cent, regular strike. Edge 150 reeds. Diameter 30, 61 millimeters. Weight 1130 grams. Mintage 302,097th I424. Mint Denver. Metal 75% copper, 25% nickel over a pure copper center. Highest auction recorded sale $13,000. Mint State 61, 420, 2018 eBay auction. Now, before we go, coin collectors don't be shy. Go and shop for them deals, promos, and discounts up to 30% off on all the products located down in my description or displayed up on the product shelf underneath the video. Coins USA will earn a small commission on those products links. Just go and tap on that link and shop till you drop. I listed some of the hottest deals. Just for you, the viewer, just a little token of my appreciation for all of your support and for the precious time you invest in these coin collecting videos, you are greatly appreciated. Some affiliate links may have been mentioned or displayed throughout the making of this video, so keep on exploring and remember this. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. So till next time, Coins USA at Coin by USA signing out. Have a great day and a wonderful night.